Ka-ching, ka-ching, it's time I made some money, which means it's time for another Rags to Riches. And welcome back to the series. This will be a weekly series where I show you how I make money and what I do during the week to make money on my goal to make 100 mil cash. I'll talk about the methods I'm doing and that I'll be showing you, and I'll probably rant a lot about what's ever on my mind. So each method I show you, which I will do for one hour at a time, I'll show you how much I make from the hour of money making, and move on to another method, repeat the process, and so on. Sound good? Good. Okay, so by now you may have already guessed that my money making method of choice for the first method will be the Queen Black Dragon, as I have a super anti-fire flask here, and a bunch of food and range gear with my trusty royal crossbow which surprisingly is only 10% operational but I think we'll manage but before we get into that let's do a quick little recap of what my bank currently stands at okay so in the money pouch obviously we have 27 mil I forgot exactly how much 27.6 mil that's a bit more than I had on the previous episode which was ages ago uh, not much to see here or here. Uh, I'm not going to be selling any of this stuff because it's for tasks and whatever. Uh, nothing here. This is this tab here is the majority of my wealth. I've got some bandos, you know, just generic sort of PVM gear, and I've got my first chaotic. It's a chaotic staff, yes, and I'm not sure if it was the most useful choice, but you know, mage is awesome, so. Okay, so um, also we have a lot of food. Uh, yeah, not really sure what else to say about that. And since last time, I've gained quite a lot of levels, so I'll have a lot of methods open to me. So, without further ado, let's head on down to the QBD's lair. And here we are with a yak. Just so we're all on the same page, I've brought a yak instead of the unicorn because I feel it might be more useful. And uh, I haven't done this in a while and I've heard it's been buffed, so I'm a bit scared. But let's start the timer for one hour. Activate the aura, there we go. And I suppose we should uh, pot up. There we go, and let's go. And I brought an emergency teleport just in case, because I can't be bothered with dying. It's a bit of an inconvenience, that whole dying business. And she's just as big and scary as I remember. Alright, let's see if we can't pwn her. Oh, first firewall. Does this look different? Or is it just me? I think it's just me, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. The flame wall does not look different. Okay, I'm on the third phase, I think. This is the part I'm most worried about, to be honest. I, I'm a little bit rusty on the tortured souls, I have to be honest. I can't quite get the timing right just yet. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Oh my god, I am so bad at this. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's just focus on the walls. Focus on... Attack the thing. No! Ah! Ah! Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, phew. This is basically what PVM is like for me. Just constant panicking about nothing. <sighs> stay calm, Tom. Just stay calm. Okay, for some reason my yak is not working. This is not good. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Eat. Just eat. Just eat it. Oh yeah, time for some loot. Let's see what we've got for the first chest. I have a feeling it won't be too good, but... Fingers crossed. Ooh. Ooh. Five dragon stones? Uh, could be worse. I'll take that. So let's just bank all that. And let's go for another run. Alright, round two of the QBD. I've set my quick prayers to anguish this time, so hopefully I'll be able to do a bit more damage. Pot up. Do, do, do. And let's go for a second kill. Proceed. 
post-production voiceover time. I just want to talk about RS3 for a second since I haven't really talked about it yet and it's quite a massive update. So I do honestly quite like the new interface. It's really nice being able to move stuff around wherever you want and to have more than one part of the UI open at the same time. As you can see, I like to have my notes open so that I know what I need to upgrade in my player and ports next. The Battle of Lumbridge, however, I'm not entirely enthused about, as you might have been able to tell from the intro of this video. I'm really hoping that this world event evolves into something more interesting than just gathering resources, essentially. I mean, it's a nice way to AF, well, technically AFK train one of your least favourite skills, because you can buy XP lamps, but yeah, it... If it's going to be called Battle for Lumbridge, it should actually be a battle. That's all I'm saying. And the next thing I want to talk about... Uh, I've honestly thought this for a while, but I still think the combat needs tweaking. And no, I do not mean going back to pre-EOC. If you don't like the EOC, go and play the 07 servers, or just play a different game entirely. So one of my friends, Matthew suggested that uh, one of one of the ways we could tweak combat is that auto attacks should be the thing that generates adrenaline uh, uh, adrenaline and not basic abilities so what this would mean is that you would sort of hold off spamming basic abilities all the time because they'd have to be more of a tactical choice rather than just mindlessly spamming them and obviously thresholds and ultimate abilities would still drain adrenaline, which I think is a fantastic idea. As you can see in these clips of me fighting the QBD, I'm just spamming whatever damaging ability is off cooldown, and it's just kind of like playing whack-a-mole, you know, hit whichever ability comes up next, which I don't think is very fun. Plus it gives me a cramp in my hand after a while. The abilities need to be more unique and varied. At the moment, most of the abilities are basically just do this amount of damage, which is really quite dull. And I would rather have less abilities that do that each ability does more something more interesting and is more of a tactical choice than just mindlessly spamming. I do agree that combat needs to be more engaging than it was pre-EOC, but at the moment it mostly feels like needless activity. Steal ideas from other MMOs or MOBAs, Jagex, if you need ideas for interesting abilities. I don't care where you get ideas from, just make them interesting, goddammit. Just make abilities unique and engaging. Okay, time for the second loot. I'm using far too much food here, but, uh, you know, I'm a bit out of practice, so what can I say? Second loot, here we go. And. Ooh, 10 torstals. That, hmm, that's not too bad, I guess. I'll bank that. Thank you. Time for another. And there we are. Third kill. Used a lot of food again. I think I might try out melee next time I'd come to do this. But I'll just keep using range. For the rest of these kills because it's not worth going back to the bank at this point. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, Royal Frame and a Magic. That's nice. I like that. I'll just bank those. Uh, we'll do a few more kills, I reckon, and then we'll move on to something else. Ooh, after that third kill, I've only got a, f a bit of food left. Uh, should I go for it? I think I will. Yeah, let's go for it. Pod up, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> I can imagine it'll only go one way, and that's very badly. And we made it on just a bit of food. I did quite well there, I have to say, if I do say so myself. And I think that's going to be my last kill. I didn't last very long, I'll be honest. I need some practice. Might try using melee next time. I've heard that's a lot more effective. Onyx bolt tips, I don't know how much they're worth these days. But let's go to the bank now. And, uh, oh dear, 
I don't have room for all this. Okay, well, we'll just go to the bank now and check how, check how much we made. Uh, how long did I last? I lasted about half an hour, so <laughs> not fantastic, but, you know, it's my first time in a while, so <laughs> cut me some slack. And welcome back to the GE. Now let's price check the stuff that I'm going to sell. Uh, I know I got some Torstals and something else, but I'm going to keep them because I want to use them for, you know, just supplies for skilling and stuff. So let's just price check all this stuff that I am going to sell. 1.2 mil in half an hour. That is pretty damn good, I have to say. So let's just sell all this. And it would appear no one wants to buy my royal frame, which is a shame. <clears throat> we may not make so much on this, actually. 350k, let's try that. Nope. Oh, god damn. Well, let's just forget about that for now. Um, what are we on now? 28.4 mil. I'm happy with that. So, uh... I'm going to leave this one a surprise. Uh, let's move to the next money-making method. In the middle of preparing for the next money-making method, I reckon some of you will already know what I'm about to do, uh, but my royal frame has sold, so let's see how much I got for it. Uh, oh, 350k, not too bad. Alright, let's see what our new amount is. 28 point eight mil. So we're almost at the 30 mil mark, which is almost a third of our goal. I'm quite happy with that. See you at the next method. Boom! And here we are at Grenwalls. I have never done this before, so I'm just using someone else's guide for this. So please let me know if I'm doing this wrong. I'm aware the Lerupia costume doesn't help here, but I just like wearing it while hunting. And the crystal bow, because we're in the elven area. It's very cool. I'm just going to stay for the duration of my fruit bat scroll. Uh, well, fruit bat familiar, or until I run out of scrolls, whichever comes first. I'll just select left click option as special move. There we go. Can I get rid of this? Yes, I can. Right. There we go. So I believe what we do. Um, hello. There we go, right. So I believe what we do is just spam the scrolls, get some papayas. This is quite a lot, actually. Okay, let's pick up the papayas, which I believe are um, bait for poyas, because you need poya meat to lower the grin walls. So you're kind of hunting two things at once, I believe. So let's just uh, get going, I suppose. So I'm going to lay down three traps for the poyas. Use papayas on each of them, like so. And then on either side of those, I believe we use uh, traps for the Gren walls. Ooh, have we got a uh, Poya? No? No, we have not. God damn it. Another post production voiceover. I just wanted to very quickly talk about the RuneScape economy. I realised that a lot of prices of items in the game have kind of gone to shit and have been like that for a long time, pretty much since the start of the EOC. I was wondering if you guys had any ideas for solutions to help heal the economy. The reason I wanted to bring this up is because I was watching Mod Dean's livestream, Mod Dean being the content manager at Jagex, I believe, and he talked about potential item and GP syncs that they could introduce into the game. The, one of the ideas that he brought up, which I particularly liked, was a tax on the Grand Exchange, which pretty much every other MMO, MMO has at this point. 
This would siphon a lot of GP out of the game and might also encourage people to meet up to trade again. And another point that Mod Dean made was that he doesn't want death to be a main item sink and that he wants to find other ways of removing items from the game to create more demand for them and increase the prices again. I think a good existing example of this would be the Ascension crossbow. It requires a dragon crossbow to make and this in turn creates demand for dragon crossbows and also takes them out of the game. So to wrap up this point, leave a comment telling me what item sinks you'd like to see that don't involve dropping items on death since that's something Jagex wants to avoid. I'm just really interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this. Okay guys, it's been just under an hour, I think about 50 minutes or maybe 55, I don't know, I've lost track of time because I'm so freaking bored. <laughs> but um, as you can see I have a lot of Grenwall spikes, so let's just do a quick price check. So that, oops, so that is one point, almost 1.2 mil just from the spikes and I got a few seeds as well. Papaya tree seed, which was quite lucky, and a few herbs as well, and a coconut for some reason. So that adds up to about 1.2 mil, so that just goes to show you don't need to do bossing in order to make decent money, or any sort of BVM. So I am going to go and sell this and then we'll wrap up the video. Alright, time to cash in. Okay, so my Grenwall spikes didn't go for as much as I'd hoped, but I think they did sell for about 2k each, so that's still 1.1 mil almost. So that's pretty good. And what are we on now? Our total is currently, oh, we're very close to 30 mil. Let's just call it 30 mil for the sake of simpleness. So yeah, um, I'm still sort of trying to figure out the format of this series. I will do it every Monday except this Monday coming because I won't have enough footage. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if there's any money making methods in particular that you'd like me to check out so that you know how much money you can expect to make from it or you just want to see me suffer in boredom. And I will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe and subscribe, fucking hell, subscribe and like the video. I'll see you next time.